we have a bit of a surprise. <laughs> this happened. Not just one. What's that one's name? Maddie. Hey, Maddie. Let me see Maddie. That's Maddie. And hey, hey, little one. This one is just full of energy. That's Carmen. Hi, Carmen. Hi, Carmen. <laughs> We got Maddie and Carmen, and we couldn't separate them. Meg's happy. Look at that smile. <laughs> we got to go get some uh, dog food now. <laughs> what right. dogs are they, Meg? They are a mix. They're 50% original mountain cur. She doesn't cur like or it car? Now. Cur? Cur. Mountain cur? They're Look original cur. mountain cur, 50%, and then they're... Oh, terrier God. Chihuahua, the other half. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Dialect are gonna do a high five. Ready? <laughs> and the girls are so excited what they do. They clean their room. <laughs> I made a little bed for this one, little one. Aww. But we didn't know we were having two. Mm -mm. So they might. I'm going to. I want to go introduce Maddie to Pine Trail. I want to go show her. Okay, you guys. That's it, folks. Say goodbye to the pit. Here's where Meg left it. It's a bunch of bricks. Really neat ones. Hopefully we can incorporate this into the house or something. Some kind of element with the build. We got boulders, we got smaller rocks. We have, so we got a pile of bricks there with rocks and we got a pile of bricks and rocks there as well. Just, I've dug, I've dug up some tree roots. Now the thing is, I wanna smooth this out right away. Number one, rain is coming in a few days. But number two, we got the driveway. The driveway's here, and it's gonna come right up this way. So what I did, I broke this up yesterday. It's gonna go down that way, downhill. But this had some really big tree roots, and I wanted to get those out before I ran it over with the box blade and smoothed everything out. So we're gonna push all this soil around today, get this looking good, finish getting that hole closed up. I guess just making sense of all these bricks and rocks, and we're gonna make piles of each of them, probably somewhere next to the barn.
driveway we know is going that way. Hooked up a rope to one edge. It's gonna go past the electric box. Remember, there's gonna be a shed here. Pressure tank is gonna be in the shed. So we're gonna have a 10 by 16 shed. Along the shed, there's going to be the driveway. On the east side of the shed here, about, there's going to be a garage door. So we can easily come into the driveway. Well, it's just for the tractor or the mower or whatever. Probably the mower. Um, so we have this rope to give us kind of a straight shot to follow a guide down to the existing driveway. I really want to get some seed in the soil and start watering it in. We're getting rain this week. And uh, now's a good time to get all this in a state where we can order gravel and lay it down. I know that'll make Meg very happy. which is annual, that's just to get some nutrients in the ground and, and hold this stuff in place. We got tall fescue and to blend. This is uh, Kentucky grass. I figure we're near Kentucky, so why not? Right? So we're gonna put this thing in the, uh, in the spreader and we're going to just spread it all up and through here. I got my tractor in the mud, and that's okay. I did that on purpose. Look at this. When it rains, and it rained yesterday and last night. See that? That's the product or the byproduct of rain. And uh, so I cleaned out all the trash, well, the plastics. I got a metal scrap pile going here that I'm gonna get rid of. Anyway. Up this area, there's a, a mountain, you know, transition, a holler as they call it. Water comes down this way, and it goes. And I'm, I ordered gravel for tomorrow to come because we're gonna start putting in the driveway. Here's the driveway. We need a lot of gravel here. Okay, but at this point here, it really turns into a muddy mess. So it starts over there by Meg, and it comes down, and it runs. See, it even washed out some of the gravel that I put down. But it goes by this holly tree, and it keeps going and going. Now, it is good to wash off your boots in it, but it goes to here. It goes to a culvert pipe, which looks like maybe a 12-inch pipe. And then, <clears throat> see the ground is built up here, but I'm on top of that culvert pipe right now. Where does it go? It goes this way. And then it goes out to the road. It looks kind of clogged to me. But anyway. We're going to handle this section of it. So from the culvert pipe over to the metal scrap pile is about 80 feet. So in my truck here, 
I went to Lowe's. Surprisingly, they had this in stock. This is six inch culvert pipe that we can uh, put in the ground and provide some drainage. And then what we could do is get rid of this ditch. We could just make it nice and flat looking like that area, but it would be like this whole thing past the tree, make it easier to cut the grass here and not have to weed whack all this area. So I'm gonna kind of snake through here, just go with the natural terrain. Dig it out with the backhoe, lay the pipe down, put some rocks around it, call it good. That's the plan right now because gravel's coming in tomorrow. And we got this part of the driveway, and then it's going to start going up. Up to the mountain. Is that? No, that's not our mountain. Our mountain's over there. digging now than he was when we first got the backhoe. I use these kinds of things in our homeschooling to explain how you're not supposed to know how to do something the first time you try. Like fractions, they're hard. But when you practice, you get better. Good thing. 
up or something. I'm out here digging, making dirt. 